Here's something interesting. Apparently the preacher, Jack Smack 77 plays Grand Theft Auto. Okay? And let me just say this before I play the clip. Uh, my stance on video games is that I don't take the stance that all video games are sin. My stance is that video games are a liberty if they are clean and in moderation. But games like Grand Theft Auto are not liberty, okay? Liberty would be playing a game like Pac-Man or maybe Mario Kart or something like that. To me, I believe that is liberty, okay? Because it's, it's relatively clean and there's no violence, there's no blood, there's no gore. But games like Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or that kind of stuff, uh, those games are not liberty. They're not covered under Christian liberty. But the supposed preacher, Jack Smack 77 plays Grand Theft Auto. Which, it makes sense why he spends all his time attacking preachers who preach repentance because he doesn't want to give up his sin. He doesn't want to give up his worldly entertainment. Okay, and again, video games are a liberty. I do believe they are a liberty if they're clean and in moderation. But super hyper-violent games like Grand Theft Auto, which are the whole point of the game is you just go out and commit crime and steal things and loot, pe loot from people and rob people and beat people up and stuff. It's not liberty. So here is the clip of him playing Grand Theft Auto and on his uh, Christian YouTube channel. Watch this. Okay, this video is entitled The Grand Theft Auto 5 Giant Dump Truck Tutorial. Let's go to our map screen real quick. Here's where the dump truck is located. Well, one of them anyway. Right up here at what's called uh, Davis Davis Quartz. So let's go ahead and turn on our GPS. Here goes. Okay, we see one here. Okay, now that we are in the city, we're going to see how much damage we can do before the cops arrive. Here goes. All right, here come the police. Again, like I said earlier, it makes sense why he spends all the time attacking preachers who preach repentance. And some of the people, in fact, a lot of the people he goes after are heretics. Yeah, absolutely. People like Jesse Morrell and, and those guys, yeah, they are work salvation heretics. I agree with that. Jesse Morrell is a lost heretic. He believes in work salvation. Other guys like him, you know, Richard Pankowski, Warriors for Christ, that guy. He's a lost heretic. He believes in work salvation. He denies. He thinks he's sinlessly perfect. Yeah, he's a heretic. He's gonna he's he's on his way to hell. I agree. But there are other people he attacks who are saved and who preach biblical repentance, which is God the sorrow for your sins. You see, Jesse Morrell and Richard Pankowski and those heretics, they say that repentance is to stop sinning. You have to stop sinning to be saved. That is a heresy, okay? You can't stop your sin to be saved. You can't stop sinning to be saved. That'd be works, okay? Jonah three ten identifies turning from sin as a work. Okay? When you repent of sin, it basically means you have godly sorrow for your sins, okay? You stop your sin, you, you turn from your sins, obviously you can't be sinless, but you turn from your sins after you're saved, okay? That's where Jesse Morrell and Richard Pankowski and Reuben Israel, that's where those heretics get it wrong. They say you have to do it to be saved, you have to stop sinning to be saved. The Bible says you have godly sorrow for your sins, and then the spiritual regeneration happens, the Holy Ghost comes in and cleans your life up, okay? Ephesians 2.10 says you that word is workmanship created for good works, okay? Paraphrasing, of course. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says we're a new creature in Christ. All things have all things become new. Old things have passed away. Again, paraphrasing. But so it makes sense why he's going after biblical preachers who preach biblical repentance, because he doesn't want to give up his sin. 
And on this thing of Grand Theft Auto, uh, the game is rated M for Mature, 17+. plus. Here's why it's rated M. For Blood and Gore, this is the contents of the game. This is why the game is rated uh, 17+. plus. For Blood and Gore, a ten intense violence, mature humor, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and use of drugs and alcohol. That's the content of the game. I mean, you want to tell me that's Christian liberty? Absolutely not. Okay, again, video games are liberty if they're in moderation and they're clean. This is not a clean game. Again, according to the rating, it has blood and gore, use of drugs and alcohol, sexual content. I've seen it myself. I've seen uh, clips of the game, just graphic stuff, just graphic violence, sexual images. It's not covered under, under Christian liberty. I'm going to show you some scriptures that make, that kind of describe this heretic, this Jack Smack 7 7. Because you see, you have this false dichotomy. You have the Lordship Salvation works righteous heretics like Jesse Morrell and Richard Pekoski. Then you have the other side, which is like the no repentance, just live however you want side, like Jack Smack 7 7 and Steven Anderson and those guys. It's a false dichotomy, okay? I don't stand for either one of those sides. I don't stand for the Lordship Salvation people. I also don't stand for the easy believism, okay? Salvation is easy, okay? I'll just put it out there. But Easy believism is not scriptural, okay? Biblical salvation is right in the middle, okay? You're not lordship salvation, which is works, and you're not easy believism, which is just live however you want and turn the grace of God into lasciviousness, okay? Jude chapter 1 and verse number 4. For there were certain, there are certain uh, men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. When you try to use Christian liberty to play wicked games like Grand Theft Auto, you're turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. And the game, Grand Theft Auto, does contain lasciviousness in it. Absolutely. It's not covered under Christian liberty. Galatians 5.13 For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. You have liberty, but you shouldn't use it as an occasion to the flesh. You shouldn't use it as an excuse to commit sin. Okay? Liberty is there, meaning you're not under the law. You're not under the condemnation of the law. Once you're saved, you're not under that law in the sense of you have to keep the law perfectly and that kind of stuff. No, you have liberty. Absolutely. But don't use it for an occasion to the flesh. Don't give grounds to the flesh. First uh, Peter chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. For so is the will of God, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorant ignorance of foolish men as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. And one last scripture I want to go to, 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 7 to 10. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment, to be punished, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness, and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. First thing I want to point out, when you play a wicked game like Grand Theft Auto and you're saved, it should vex you, the stuff that goes on there. I've seen clips of the game and I'm, just, I'm vexed. It's disgusting. The sexual images, the nudity in the game, the drug use, the alcohol abuse, all that stuff. It should vex your righteous soul if you're saved. But of course, the Jack Smack 770 is not saved. That's just that simple. And of course, you know, not afraid to speak evil of dignities or self-willed. Exactly. Jack Smack 770, he does go after heretics like Jesse Morrell and, and uh, Richard Pekoski who do believe in a works-based salvation. Absolutely. But many of the preachers he goes after do believe in biblical repentance and do preach righteous living. They're not, they're not afraid to speak evil of dignities. That's simple. They say, oh, you're being legalistic, you're being pharisaical. They're not. Avoiding games like Grand Theft Auto, saying you shouldn't play a game that has nudity and alcohol abuse in it and a, a, intense violence. Saying you shouldn't do that is not being legalistic, it's not being prideful, it's not being, you know, pharisaical. It's just, just being a sane human. Any normal human would not play a game like that. That's simple. It's not being pharisaical or prideful or self-righteous. It's just following the word of God. You're not supposed to give, you're not supposed to use liberty as an occasion to the flesh. That's simple. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Very interesting how he supposedly a preacher and is so militantly against biblical repentance. 
and yet he plays a, a violent, wicked game like Grand Theft Auto. So I just found that interesting. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.